I'm your host, Amberlynn Carroll. Thank you for joining us on this episode of MedWatch Today. Diabetes is a chronic condition that not only affects how your body turns food into energy, but also can affect your heart as well. We sit down with two community health partner physicians to understand how diabetes can affect the heart. We have a diabetes epidemic in the valley. Almost about 30 to 40 percent of adults uh, in Central Valley have either pre-diabetes or diabetes. Symptoms of diabetes might include extreme fatigue, extreme thirst, and frequent urination. However, However, diabetes can sometimes have no symptoms. Sometimes patients might not even have any symptoms. And one of the dangerous things is sometimes if we don't recognize or think of diabetes, um, sometimes um, patients might drink juice when they get too much thirsty and that can raise the blood sugar even more higher and it can dehydrate them pretty fast and they can actually go into um, a state called, uh, we call it um, a diabetic coma. There are three main types types of diabetes, type 1, type 2, and gestational. All three can lead to heart disease. So type 1 diabetes is usually hereditary, uh, where people are born with it. Uh, the risk of cardiovascular risk in type 1 is equal to as it is with type 2, which is usually with lifestyle changes along with some hereditary predisposition to develop diabetes. So mainly the risk depends upon the duration of diabetes and how well the diabetes is controlled. Gestational diabetes is a different subset. Uh, this is the diabetes where high blood sugar is first detected during pregnancy and it almost affects 9% of pregnancies in, in USA. And these patients uh, are at high risk of developing diabetes or prediabetes later on in their life. Prediabetes is a serious health condition where blood sugar levels are higher than normal, but not high enough to be diagnosed as type 2 diabetes. Type 2 is the most common form of diabetes, and individuals with this type are four times more likely than those without to die from cardiovascular causes insulin resistance typically goes high when we are overweight and then so and then also type 2 diabetes is more common uh, in certain ethnicities um, if you are overweight and then if you are not exercising well it can cause plaque formation in the arteries supplying the heart and so these plaques can get bigger and bigger and it can completely cut down the circulation and it can also affect the muscles of the heart so the heart muscles get stiff so as per studies there has been increased risk of you know congestive heart failure communities state of the art technology for monitoring heart health brings modern conveniences of managing the disease to valley patients we have various type of tests that are available to us uh, starting with basic tests like echocardiogram, which is just ultrasound of the heart, it tests your heart function. Then based on patient symptom, we have other tests like non-invasive stress tests that can help us detect any significant blockages in the heart blood vessels. And then if necessary, we have invasive procedure called angiogram or left heart catheterization, where we inject dye directly into the blood vessels that supply blood to the heart and look for blockages. Overall, physicians encourage incorporating activity and healthier food choices into your lifestyle to reduce your risk of diabetes, help manage the disease, and promote better heart health.